I wasn't expecting you to land. Though repairs are complete, the Daedalus is going to need Atlantis' shields as much as you do. Dr. Weir, the Hive ships are emerging from hyperspace. We're on our way. They're getting into some sort of formation. Move, move. holding under the bombardment, but it's under incredible strain. How long will it hold? Well, if they stop firing at it, it will last almost indefinitely, but with this Are kind we of- Are talking months? Weeks? Days. At this rate, the ZPM will be depleted within days. It's almost pretty, isn't it? Almost. Not quite. We can get the Daedalus back into fighting form within 24 hours, but I think the next engagement's gonna have the same result. Even if we were able to destroy these ships this instant, more would be here in a few days, and even more a few days after that. From where I'm standing, I just don't see how we can win this. Well, now we know how the ancients must have felt. Atlantis is the only way to Earth. As long as they know we're here, they're just going to keep coming. As long as they know that we're here. What do you mean? So Lanka just said, as long as they know that we're here, they'll keep coming. Yes, he said that. Well, what if they thought we were gone? Then there'd be no reason for them to stay. Exactly. Exactly what? We disappear. Destroy the city, you mean? No, we just make it look like we did. How? We cloak it. Yes. Yes. The, the puddle jumpers are equipped with cloaking technology, which renders them invisible to the naked eye and to wraith scans. If we just simply remove one of the cloak generators from the uh, puddle jumper... I wouldn't say simply, we... but yes, by interfacing a jumper's uh, stealth mode generator with the city shield, we should be able to render the city invisible. That's all well and good, but I think if the city were to suddenly disappear, they might be able to put one and one together. Which is why we fake a self-destruct. Have the Daedalus beam a nuke right above the city shield and then detonate it. While their sensors are blinded, we cloak the city, when the smell clears? Nothing but ocean. What about hard radiation? Well, I should be able to calculate with reasonable accuracy how long to wait before we switch over to the cloak. Hey, but what about the displacement issue? Well, it's coplanar emulation. That's the easy part. OK. What about the hard part? Hard part? Uh, the cloak, for all intents and purposes, will replace the shield, which means that we'll be completely unprotected once the cloak's activated. We'll be completely exposed? Well, yes. So if they're not fooled by the ruse... Then they destroy the city, which, I remind you, is exactly what we were going to do anyway. What about the Daedalus? Well, if it doesn't work, our shields should be sufficiently recharged to break through the lines and escape. We know we can outrun them. All right. Let's get as many non-essential personnel onto your ship as we can, just in case. I love this idea. I really do. But the Wraith are aware that we have cloaking technology. They are close. Close enough for me to connect to them. If I can convince them that we intend to destroy Atlantis rather than allow it to be taken just before the explosion occurs, how will we know whether or not they believe you? Once they stop the bombardment, we'll know. He's right. If the Wraith believe that we intend to destroy the city, the last thing they'll want to do is to help us do it. How much time do you need? Oh, uh, uh, a week. couple of hours. I'll take the second estimate. Go. In union, four hours. <laughs> 